In the realm of classic cinema, Audrey Rose stands as a timeless emblem of the film industry. What enduring qualities render this movie an everlasting symbol of cinematic prowess and storytelling? Released in 1977, it weaves a narrative that transcends its era, captivating audiences with a narrative rich in psychological depth and emotional resonance. This haunting tale, directed by Robert Wise, explores the intersection of science and the supernatural as it unfolds the story of a family grappling with inexplicable occurrences tied to their daughter's past life. The film's enduring appeal lies not only in its deft exploration of metaphysical themes, but also in its ability to evoke a sense of suspense that resonates across generations. Before delving into the movie's intricacies, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Audrey Rose. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some intriguing details about this cinematic gem. The narrative's exploration of reincarnation, coupled with strong performances from the cast, has left an indelible mark on the annals of film history. Wise's directorial finesse and the screenplay's ability to balance the eerie with the empathetic contribute to the enduring legacy of Audrey Rose. As we traverse the enigmatic landscape of this film, one can't overlook the haunting musical score by Michael Small, which complements the atmospheric tension, heightening the viewer's emotional engagement. The film's ability to linger in the minds of audiences, sparking contemplation and discussion, is a testament to its enduring impact. What qualities do you believe make Audrey Rose an everlasting symbol of the industry? Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We look forward to hearing your perspectives and experiences related to this cinematic masterpiece. In 1977, the film Audrey Rose emerged as a notable cinematic work, marking the debut of Susan Swift in a theatrical role. Swift portrayed Ivy Templeton in the movie, garnering attention for her performance. Notably, Audrey Rose faced comparisons to the iconic film The Exorcist, with some audiences and critics suggesting similarities and influences between the two. The accusations of Audrey Rose being a rip-off or part of a cycle were fueled by claims that Susan Swift was directed to resemble Linda Blair from The Exorcist. Specific camera angles and visual cues were allegedly employed to evoke similarities between Swift's portrayal and Blair's iconic character. These comparisons sparked discussions about the thematic connections and cinematic inspirations between Audrey Rose and The Exorcist. The film became a subject of analysis in the academic sphere, with Adrian Scober delving into its depths in the treatise East Meets West. Representing the possessed child in Frank de Felida's Robert Wise's Audrey Rose, published in Literature, Film Quarterly in 2004. In essence, Audrey Rose, with its debutante Susan Swift, and the controversies surrounding its alleged similarities to The Exorcist, found itself at the intersection of critical scrutiny and academic exploration, making it a noteworthy piece in cinematic history. The Ethical Culture School, a functional institution to this day, played a subtle yet enduring role in the 1977 film. The school, showcased in a scene featuring Elliot Hoover waiting for Ivy, is the Manhattan campus of the Ethical Culture Fieldston Schools. Operating from pre-K to sixth grade, it remains an active part of the city's educational landscape. Interestingly, this same campus made its mark in another cinematic production, The Pickup Artist, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Molly Ringwald. The film's casting process had its share of noteworthy moments. Susan Swift, who debuted in a theatrical role as Ivy Templeton, faced competition during the auditions. Notably, Brooke Shields, who later posed for the cover art of the source novel, screen tested for the role of Ivy. This revelation, confirmed by Swift in 2016, adds an intriguing layer to the movie's behind-the-scenes dynamics. The movie's narrative took an unexpected turn during Ivy's hypnosis session. In a unique twist, Ivy's dialogue with the medical staff involved a riddle joke punchline. The full riddle, when is a door not a door? When it's a jar, added a touch of curiosity and levity to a scene charged with tension. These subtle but significant details contribute to the multifaceted nature of the 1977 cinematic work, offering viewers a deeper appreciation for its connection to real-life locations, casting choices, and the infusion of humor into intense moments. Susan Swift made a striking debut in the 1977 film, earning an introducing credit for her role as Ivy Templeton. 
Notably, her performance garnered attention and set the stage for her theatrical career. Behind the scenes, there was an interesting casting twist. John Pertwee was initially considered for the role of Elliot Hoover. However, the role eventually went to another actor, shaping the dynamics of the film. Frank DeFelida played a significant behind-the-scenes role in the movie, donning three hats as a producer, screenwriter, and the source novelist. This triple contribution added layers to the creation of the film, showcasing DeFelida's involvement in shaping the narrative. Swift's introduction, the casting considerations, and DeFelida's multifaceted role offer a glimpse into the complexities that contributed to the 1977 cinematic work. His details go beyond the on-screen story, providing viewers with a deeper understanding of the people and decisions that shaped the film. For Love of Audrey Rose, a sequel to the original novel, remains unadapted despite its publication in 1982. Authored by Frank DeFelida, who wore multiple hats in the 1977 film, as a producer, screenwriter, and the source novelist, the sequel delves further into the narrative. Interestingly, DeFelida's creative journey extended beyond Audrey Rose, as he contributed to the horror genre with The Entity in 1978, later adapted into a film. This sequel and DeFelida's broader impact on horror cinema highlight the lasting influence of Audrey Rose on the trajectory of his career. Intriguingly, the film marked a significant moment for Susan Swift, who portrayed Ivy Templeton. Notable actresses Melissa Gilbert and Alison Arngrim, known for their roles in Little House on the Prairie, were contenders for the role but ultimately lost it to Swift. This casting decision added a layer of complexity to Audrey Rose's production, creating a ripple effect in the careers of those involved. Moreover, Audrey Rose served as the final venture into horror for director Robert Wise. Wise, celebrated for classic musicals like West Side Story and The Sound of Music, brought his unique touch to the horror genre with earlier films such as The Haunting and The Curse of the Cat People. The juxtaposition of Wise's musical legacy with his concluding horror endeavor in Audrey Rose adds an intriguing dimension to the film's historical context. In essence, the unexplored sequel, the casting decisions, and Wise's departure from horror encapsulate the depth and lasting impact of Audrey Rose on the cinematic landscape, reaching beyond its immediate release. As we bid adieu to the realms of Audrey Rose, let the echoes of its ethereal tale linger in the corridors of your thoughts. Peel back the layers of time and consider the tapestry of emotions woven by this cinematic masterpiece and the tapestry of your own experiences. Did Audrey Rose gently tiptoe into the corridors of your heart, leaving indelible imprints? Perhaps it sparked a flame of introspection, kindling the embers of contemplation about life's profound mysteries. Or did it summon nostalgia, whispering forgotten melodies of a bygone era, inviting you to dance with the ghosts of memories? Now, it's your turn to illuminate the screen with the glow of your own narrative. Share with us the threads that Audrey Rose wove into the fabric of your personal journey. Was it a quiet revelation in the stillness of the night, or a vivid snapshot etched in the tapestry of your youth? Unearth those treasured recollections and breathe life into the shared mosaic of our collective cinematic experience. Your words, like brush strokes on a canvas, paint a vivid portrait of the impact Audrey Rose has had on your soul. Release them into the vast expanse and watch as they join the symphony of reflections from fellow travelers on this celluloid journey. Together, let's revel in the diversity of perspectives that make this timeless tale a kaleidoscope of human connection. Thank you for embarking on this introspective voyage with us. Your stories are the stars that light up our cinematic cosmos, and your presence enriches the narrative tapestry we collectively create. Until the next reel unspools, may your memories of Audrey Rose continue to dance in the shadows, a timeless waltz etched in the annals of your soul.